I'm Tamlin. Hey, I'm Josh. And we are here to make another video for you. Lesson three. Lesson three of the Good and the Beautiful Science Unit on mammals. Mammals. And here to help us is our horse. His name is Yeager. <laughs> And he's going to help us learn all about odd-toed ungulates. Yeah. What is an odd-toed ungulate? What's an odd-toed ungulate? Uh, an odd-toed ungulate? <laughs> That's right. Perissodactyl. Perissodactyl. Have you heard that word in your lesson? That's a Greek word that means odd-numbered toes. Yeah. Odd-numbered toes. And there are a couple cool features about the Perissodactyl order of mammals. And the equine. And the equine is one of the animals in that family. There we go. One of the features of the Perissodactyla is they have a long face. Look at that face. <laughs> it's so long. This is Jaeger. He's my horse. He is an American Quarter Horse. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see him yeah, better. He said something about like a sticker. Yep. There he is. He's an American Quarter Horse, which is a domestic breed. Oh, I forgot to tell everybody. As you're listening to our video, see if you can keep track of how many vocabulary words we say. So. I'll tell you the answer at the end of the video. Long face. What's the next feature of the Perissodactyla? Can I hold it? Do you know what it is? The next one I want to talk about is their teeth. I'm not going to show you Jaeger's teeth because he wouldn't like it very much, but yeah, he doesn't really like it. But I want to show you something cool. We had the vet come out a month ago to give Jaeger his shots and his checkup and check on his teeth. Teeth are very important to herbivores because that's how they grind up their food. And Jaeger is old and one of his teeth just fell out. <laughs> so the vet gave it to us and we got to keep it. So this is what one of their back teeth look like. So they have a space between their front teeth and their back teeth. Not like Josh's space and his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mammals that are ungulates and herbivores usually have a space between their front teeth and their back teeth. I think you can see that there's a space. So this is a back tooth. You can see how smooth. Oh, and look. It is. That, 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 I think that's where the space was. So that is how they grind up so their food. I think this attached to another tooth and this was the where was the gap was. Next to another tooth. Yeah. And this yeah. it was at one of the it was one of the end mm -hmm. teeth. So another feature like, of So that's where the gap was. Right. The Perissodactyla is that they are herbivores. So Jaeger would like nothing more than to eat this grass right here. And at the end we're gonna let him. So these animals have a special organ inside of them called a cecum, inside their digestive system, that helps them to break down the fibers in plants. So all they need to eat to be healthy are grasses. If we tried to eat only grass, we would not be healthy, because we don't have that special organ to break down the fibers to give us all the nutrition that we need. But we can eat other plants. We can eat other plants, but we need to eat lots of variety. So the other thing, that the Prisodactyla features is what? Their hooves. Yep. Their hooves. And you can see on his back feet, he's got one big toe on each foot. And on a horse, in the equine species, we call that a hoof. And it covers their whole foot. So he's really walking on his toes there. Can you see that? I'll show you your front foot. There it is. And I'm going to get Josh to hold the camera and I'm going to lift up his foot and show you what it looks like underneath. Okay, we're switching the camera. Okay, can you go around to the other side with me? Never walk behind a horse. That's right. That's cool. Yeah, you made it so we didn't have to walk behind him. Yeah. Okay, can you see his foot? So along with the veterinarian that comes to help take care of Jaeger, we have a special person called a farrier that comes to help take care of his feet. When the farrier comes, he gives him a trim, like cutting your fingernails. 
and you, some horses get metal shoes put on them. But Jaeger is barefoot, he doesn't have any shoes. But I can help keep his feet healthy by cleaning them with a hoof pick. Do you see the hoof pick? So I'm gonna lift up his foot and he'll show me the underneath of it. That's just, that looks so like, like a clump of mud. It is, it's a big clump of mud. Can you get around so you can see it? Oh. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, it's all packed with mud. Do your fingernails ever get really dirty? Yes. You have to clean them out? Yeah. I think he, he's kind of wobbly. He's being impatient. Don't be impatient, you'll get a treat. But he didn't like that. Okay, so I am scooping out all this mud because he's been walking around in the mud. Huh? Can you see it, Josh? Yeah. Okay, so if you remember from your lesson, some of the parts of the hoof have some funny names. Do you remember any, Josh? The frog. The frog. Do you see the frog? Yep. It's this triangle part right here. And then there's the sole, which is kind of this lighter part that I'm scraping off right now. This part is the sole of the foot. And then the hoof wall is this outer part and it goes around. And there is a little white line between the hoof wall and the sole. Yeah, it's called the white line. It's called the white line. He can't really see it right now and it's not really white. Can you see it in the camera? Mm -hmm. so, so I make sure he doesn't have any rocks stuck in there that could hurt him because the frog is actually pretty squishy. The sole is hard, but the frog is squishy, and if he got a rock stuck in there, it would really hurt. It could bruise his foot. So the other parts of the hoof, I think, that are in the lesson is the coronet. And that's at the very top of the hoof wall where the hair starts to grow. So you can see that he's walking on his toes here. And all those bones, his whole body were supported on those little feet. It's getting away because of the smell. Because <laughs> it smells? Yeah. All right, you hold it back here. I'm going to untie Jaeger and let him eat that delicious grass. He can't wait to eat. Are you sure? I'm sure. And look at the ditch. He will probably go for the ditch also. Bye.